Hello Vinyl community. So with this video I am following the call of Mikko from the Vinyl Corner. Um, a great channel about uh, music on vinyl, music in general. And uh, if you don't know it then you're probably new here. <laughs> and then you should uh, go there and uh, check it out. So Mikko has called for uh, a challenge um, to present 10 albums that would be fit to take them on a lonely island. Now I think usually when we talk about taking something to an island, music or sometimes it can be books, I think it's a metaphor, a metaphor for the question what are your 10 favorite records for example. But I, th I thought I will have a little different approach to the question and um, just pick 10 albums that, in my opinion, just simply sound perfect for the atmosphere of a tropical island. So those are not particularly my favorite records, but they are of course all records that I value or treasure, but um, they all um, seem to have uh, a particular mood that would be very interesting um, in a, on an island provided there is a great sound system and giant loudspeakers and uh, a lot of alcohol and drugs and whatever <laughs> is necessary to <laughs> not go crazy on a lonely island because you know sooner or later everybody goes mad there everybody so let's start the first one that I would take with me um, is the album Pacific by uh, Harumi Hosono, Shigeru Suzuki and Tatsuro Yamashita. So three guys in the 70s that uh, created this album. And uh, this is quite the perfect music for an island. Simply because uh, at this point in time all three of these musicians were deeply into sort of a faux exotic and sort of a slow, laid-back, relaxed surf music. So this is the ultimate uh, surf album for those that like to chill out. Now to stay with Harumi Hosono, this will be the only CD that I will show in this collection because it only exists on CD. So this is a wonderful album called Omni Sightseeing by Harumi Hosono and uh, I'm still surprised that it was not uh, released on vinyl at this point because something tells me if they brought it out on vinyl now it would be probably sold out in 10 minutes and uh, this is a wonderful album um, from mid 80s I think uh, kind of strange mixture of uh, electronic music and uh, yeah all kind of eclectic stuff very typical for Mr. Hosono yeah this one is probably an obvious choice Evening Star by Fripp and Eno I think uh, this album would really sound pretty good uh, when played on an island. Um, so this might be a good choice. To stay with Eno I would certainly take Ambient 4 on land. Uh, this is a rather revolutionary ambient album and I think it's it's a kind of a it's a kind of a ambient sound that would probably be very interesting sounding uh, between low-hanging palm trees and uh, it would pretty well mix with the distant sound of uh, ocean surf, I would think. Um, this is a great album by Bebel Gilberto called Tanto Tempo. Um, so this is a Brazilian music, um, well, uh, somewhere between Bossa Nova and Samba and uh, very acoustic in parts and quite wonderful and yes yeah, certainly something that uh, goes very well with beaches and islands and good weather for example now this album is a given uh, the debut album by the TomTom Tom Club now this is of course music that's basically made for an island um, maybe because it was recorded on an island on the Bahamas um, and uh, it's, uh, it's a very uplifting uh, album in a very good mood and uh, 
it has Adrian Ballou on the guitar and um, yeah it's quite fascinating I think it came out in 1981 um, and uh, yeah exactly and it still sounds very fresh and uplifting and uh, yeah good choice for an island certainly um, I would take this one with me uh, Left Handed Dream by Ryuichi Sakamoto uh, this is also an album from the early 80s uh, not as well polished gem like the other Sakamoto albums from that time um, it's much rougher or a little more more raw um, musical project um, it's it also features Adrian Bellu and um, of course Robin Scott and uh, yeah I always love this album it's uh, it's quite experimental and full of uh, um, original ideas and um, yeah it's something there's always something to discover on this record and it kind of feels like the right choice for an island the next album I would take with me is this one metal by Pink Floyd I have seen that uh, the other contributors uh, mentioned Pink Floyd in their videos people usually choose probably the wall or dark side of the moon I would go with metal um, simply because I think it's the perfect album for an island um, unlike the famous albums by Pink Floyd that followed this one this is the last one that's kind of a well there's a certain warmth about it and uh, it's a uh, yeah, it's not as it's not as bitter, and uh, it's not such a catalog of complaints as David Gilmore once put it, um, which can which could be said about uh, Dark Side of the Moon or The Wall. So um, maybe this is the right choice for an island simply because it's a little more mysterious and uh, with a certain warmth. So it works on a little bit different emotional level than for example wish you were here or dark side of the moon or animals so metal would be my choice this one is an album by Midori Takada and it's called through the looking glass and this would be a good choice for an island because it's a very atmospheric uh, very mysterious very uh, uh, whimsical album uh, less unfair thematic album more of a textural album it's not ambient but uh, it's certainly uh, an interesting play with soundscapes and with uh, sort of acoustic atmospheres and um, yeah it would certainly uh, be a good choice for a tropical island I think and finally number 10 I would take the album Ramshackled by Mr. Alan White with me uh, this is a very underrated album by the drummer of Yes and uh, I always like this record it's very eclectic but it's full of interesting musical ideas and it's always a pleasure to listen to it uh, it never gets boring there are some really good songs on this album a lot of interesting musicians appearing on it so um, this is uh, certainly a record that would sound good on the beach with a bottle of rum maybe why not so um, this was my choice and um, my contribution and hope you liked it so uh, keep it spinning and uh, have a good day goodbye <laughs>